All right, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Sorts. Yeah. And this is take two. <laughs> it is 57.5 degrees in Chicago land. Yeah. You know, I could have I could have rounded it up to 56 or 58. I can't even round. Alright, so we are going to take a look at the the semi-finished conservatory. Yes, we are. Because I completely botched up the first video. It was just boring. So we're going to fly over to the conservatory and check out what's going on. Squirrel. And um, so how's everybody doing out there? And there's a goat. Hmm. Here it is. Look at that. Uh, uh, excuse me. I have a rat problem. Yeah, he attacked. So, this is the finished conservatory. Very nice. Very nice. We got the roofs done. And what would have made it better is if I would have had... There's a fox on the roof. If, um, if I had the ability to change the color of the glass. Now, I do have certain glass that does have... Uh, where you can color it, but I don't like the way it, it, it looks. So I'm working on that, but I think different colors of glass would have been able, I would have been able to differentiate this roof better. That one's just a standard across roof or, uh, this is like circular rounded. Uh, let's put it that way, but this is three levels. So we have this glass part on the front, which I ended up curving. And I found this one slope. As you can see that slope, it's only a half. And it worked out perfect. And I was able to use that because these blocks, these slopes sideways give a diagonal look, but there was nothing ever to put on top. And it's there. And I'll show you that real quickly. But this is a, a three level roof. So you have this level here, which goes into the main roof. And then you have these little side winglets, which um, go into this roof and this roof is very detailed and um, it is a pain on the eyes to do because we have blocks that connect these and then slopes and then different corner blocks and then even the half glass here and what that is real quickly is um, we go into circular saw and we take the wall stone. We have this slope, but we have this slope here. And this slope will, if you notice, it only does half the note. It's kind of hard to, it's kind of hard to see that, that there we'll put it on grass. It only does half the note, which makes it very useful very useful. So what we're doing is we're going to do a run through of the conservatory. So this is what it looks like on the ground. And we have our little decorations. I smoothed out the roof a little bit to give it um, a better flow instead of the, uh, the straight blocks. And you could, you can make out the roof. But I, I, I kind of would like to have used the different colors of green. So we have um, big, huge, big, huge uh, windows and everything. Nice little framework here. And we have a fox. Hi, Mr. Fox. You eat chicken. Yes, you do. You eat raw chicken. And now he's, now he's my buddy. Yes, he is. He's my buddy. Thanks. And uh, I just filled in these little winglet areas with some, with some like vines and get rid of that one there. But these little, little vines and such. But that turned out, that turned out really cool. I like how that, uh, that works. Don't want to over, overdo it. 
I have a tendency to majorly overdo things. So um, we'll put a little couple trees in here. Now in the inside, this isn't done yet, but let's go take a look at. And on the last video, what I or on the la, on the first take, what I did was there was nothing in this room. It was just drab, and I built flower boxes over here. So we put hydras over here because they're cool. And those are from the um, CG decor mod. And then I put some stuff over here with some plants, made my own flower boxes and put um, just dirt or soil and, and made my own little enclosure, which is really cool. Put that there some reeds and a little Japanese maple tree. So we come back in here and this is like a, a greenhouse and we have, we have a little path going around. Actually, that's one too many, but this is kind of a landing. We have an apple tree in here, some, some stuff. I built this water feature here. I'm not sure if it's, if it's going to stay. So too many nodes had left some code on how to make this sheeting water. As you can tell, it, um, it just takes up a little part here. And it's in my R block mod that I put it in there. But I wanted to create this kind of flowing water into this little pool. I'm gonna put some fishies in here. But it, it just adds to some reeds. Uh, I believe these are from more oh, dry plants. I thought those were from more plants. Doesn't matter. So we have a real cool, and all the glass on the inside is, it's not just the steps from the outside. I also did the inside glass on all of these. So that looks really cool. Nice and filled out. Gives it a nice uniform shape. So we have this gorgeous view of the redwood trees, or sequoia trees. And I just filled in plants here and bushes that were made bush branches. I believe these are from more plants or more trees. It's not telling what mod that's from. I have to look that up. But I put a rubber tree plant in here and luckily it didn't break through the glass because that would have been most uh, embarrassing. So I do like these vines hanging down off of here. Off of that. So that is a look at the... Um, at greenhouse number one. So then we come back through here and I purposely kept all the colors neutral like this from, these are blocks that I, I found the patterns for and created. It's part of the R block mod. And um, yeah, somebody asked where I, where they can get all the uh, mods that I use or a listing of the mods. If you go to my website, there's a page that says mods used at rgsproductions2005.com and um, you'll find a listing and links to all the mods I use. So in here, I'm still. this is still being played with because I want some vines and stuff, but decorated the walls with shrubbery and dirt. So all that is, is... Um, that's shrubbery yellow, palm, if I take shrub. And the other video went way, way over. Of course it did, because that's, that's me. That's me. Um, yeah. So I dialed it back a bit. So what we we're going to do is two from there. And this is how I make my flower. This is how I make some of my flower boxes. Your use may vary. And then we're just going to, you know, uh, make. Go. We're going to make it equal high. The other one. Sure. And that just fills it fills in that area real nicely. And then I'm going to do the same along the sides. So, because you can make, you know, you can make bushes and in 
and such. Like that. There's your bushes. Those aren't going to stay because I'm going to I'm going to decorate this area very nicely. There we go. Cool. So what I've done over here is I tested this and I put some sand and I grew some uh, palm trees and they went straight up. I mean, huge. So I said, hmm, I'm going to build my own. I'm going to show you that. So I just used some uh, fern trunks. I could have used, if I go to palm tree, I kind of like the, uh, so you have palm tree trunk, palm tree gen. I don't know what that is. Palm tree, uh, whatever. I wonder if that would give it, see, that would make it, that's too thick, but that's the idea. And all I did was created a base, a trunk, and then I laid these out. And it's not as hard as you think. So basically, you just, you know, you just copy and put, you want to fill this in nicely to create, um, you know, how, however thick that you, you want it. Like we can go out there and really thicken this up. Yeah, it might be too much, but nevertheless, that's how, that's how that works. And you can make them uh, diagonals and then come down. And that gives you your, your palm tree look. Actually, we can go um, right here and then down. And then you can do something like that to give it that kind of, that's nice. That is really nice. Oh, that is, that is really nice. And I did it again. And then you, you have your palms. So that is how that is done. And it looks, it looks fantastic. We can make that, um, more. There. So when you step back and you look at it, that's all the palm tree is. And you can make it like we, we can give it we can give it some uh, some girth, make it fill in real nicely up at the top. And I don't want to overdo it. So you have to really use your imagination of how I'm in the water. Nice. You have to use your imagination of how you want something like that to look. And how you want it to fill out. There we go. I kind of didn't like that there. But if I do something like that, we can give it some more uh, heft at the beginning of the leaves and then come down. And you can double them up. You can do whatever you want. That's the whole idea of this game. And, and I say it every game or every episode, use your imagination. So I created that tree. And you might go, no, oh, I would have done this and this and this. So do it. And, and as long as it's what you like, then there's no wrong way. So there you have it. So I put some small ferns here. I tried growing my own ferns. We have different reeds, a little water here. Uh-oh. What in the world happened here? I know what happened. <laughs> We're, we might as well go look at that. So what um, I did find was there was a cactus sapling. Hey, I said it correctly. But let's go in here first. So you, you, that was the, the, the uh, treehouse room. And we have another hallway over here, which this is going to be a bathroom for the patrons. 
and this is going to be the offices with a beautiful view for for the directors and such here is the desert room and as you could see something happened i put a sapling here and it looked pretty cool and it kind of overfilled i might keep that that's cool and I built this little flower box here, but it kind of grew. Um, yeah, it did what it wanted. Hi, Mr. Fox. <laughs> yeah. So all I did here, and this this emulates the one desert room of the actual conservatory. I put sand here, some acacia bushes, some dried shrubs, because if you put if you put um, regular shrubs on sand, they'll dry. But that's a cool effect. And I put some cactuses, and there was actually a shrub, um, or a, a cactus sapling, which looked pretty cool, but it didn't, um, it didn't last. So it's right there. So you, you put that there, and that looks cool as it is, but it grows. So we're not going to put it there. And I did try it in a pot. However, it grew into that. So there is that. So this room is meant to be kept hot. That's why it's completely cordoned off from everywhere else. And um, it kind of overgrew a little bit, don't you think? So, yeah. Gotta watch the pricklies. We have our, we have our little acacia, acacia bushes or hedges. And that's that. That is the um, desert room. Nice. Then we come back here. Now, what this is going to be is this is actually going to be a path. So we're going to create a little path here. And I purposely made these doors too wide because I want path on both sides or I want path on both sides. And what it's meant to do Except for the center here, I want um, I want people to go down the the center. What it's meant to do is there's going to be trees and and shrubberies, and I showed how I created these in the last video. I'll show it again. So these are just different bush branches, four bush branches, three, and depending on how you lay them, and I believe these are uh, more. Um, more plants yeah and those will now it should have been three i should have been three one two three one two i don't know i'm gonna have to look at how but this definitely has to be two it looks better three wide but that doesn't leave a lot of room for plants. I'm going to play with that because I think down the main, the main way, or you know what I could just do? I could just extend this building. Which <laughs> That's an idea too. See, that's too wide. But then again, there's only going to be shrubs and bushes and trees and, and stuff like that. And then on this side, it's going to be, it's going to be similar. So we're just going to play with this. Um, I do want, because I'm going for a specific, I'm going for a specific look. This one actually three wide. I don't know. It's goofy. You can, you know, you, it varies. I'm going to keep it three wide for now. I mean, if I really want to, I can always extend the building. So this, this is going to give me the, the atmosphere that I want. So we have a path here. We're going to have trees and bushes and shrubs and everything on this side. We come back out here and we're in the main, uh, we're in the main room. That's how that works. And it is beautiful. I think so. And then uh, all of a sudden we have all these animals floating around here. 
Hey, Mr. Horse. You want to come out? There. Come on out. Thanks. This is going to be a little uh, seating area for obviously sitting and showing off. So, uh, out. No more rats. Sorry. Sorry you had to see that. But this is going to be a pergola. And I used angled blocks and such like that. We're going to have... Uh, um, What did I use? Oh, these are redwood. So all these are different shrubs up here. Now, it, it's, it's based off of when I... There's a there's a cool restaurant that I go to and it's a Greek Euro place and they have this gorgeous vines, grape vines on an outdoor eatery, outdoor part. And it really is spectacular. So we are going to bring this down. Create create a little um, a little area here just to give it give it some cool vineage that that might be too much yeah that's too much too much that'll work because I kind of like it uh, being a vine that did I just kill a block? Yes, I did. Being a vine, um, yeah, there we go. I could put windows here too, but I'm not going to. So that that takes care of that, and you just do it as natural as you possibly can, and it um, it gives a nice flow. That looks kind of broken though. So we'll do that. Nice. I like it. Could take that one. Yeah, that, that, that looks even better. Cool. So that's how you can create your vines. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to um, continue. Like, I do like those vines that are in here. So I want to put those in here. But this here is just supposed to be a nice little area uh, to get out of the... Get out of the Get out of the area of the sun and create create a little um, vine action and such. And I I build these all the time. But there you have it. There you go. That'll work. And that's all you have to do. Look at that. It just creates this nice little atmosphere. And I could, well, I, I can't, but I could make it come down the back here, which I like doing. And then just using different um, blocks. Now for something like here, I could actually break those through, but I'm not going to. But on top here, I'm going to put, to make it look like these, it's flowing. So that's that. Put, uh, I can put some uh, other things back here to make this look real pretty, but I'm not going to right now. It's just like the flowers that I did on the top. So that gives it that kind of atmosphere and uh, go from there. So over the weekend, I um, went out to a place called Herrick Lake. And me and my daughter walked about uh, 10 miles or uh, 12 miles over the, over the weekend. And we took every path that on Herrick Lake. And... Um, Actually spotted uh, two ba two deer, baby deer, and a whole multitude of chipmunks and squirrels, and it was absolutely phenomenal. the The one thing is this 
every year I, we miss, um, we, we miss the leaves changing, you know, because of weather, because of working, because of whatever. And this year is going to be different. It's like, no, every, every chance that we get, we are going to take and, um, do it right. So it's something that we enjoy. There's also a red shrub, which looks really cool. And so we're going to, uh, that's not it. I think it's that one. No, that's not it either. Yeah, that was, that was it. So we're going to change up the colors a little bit. So we have red and green and that's a, that's a green shrub there. Cool. So this is how I, and I'm going to go all the way across and, and do that. And then I can do uh, single pots and stuff like that. Put some fishies in here to make this look cool because we have a, like a marshy look with the reeds, different levels of reeds. And we have those plants there. So this turn, this is turning out really, really cool. And put some stuff in here, some benches. Go from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video on, um, and you, you could even do something like this. If I take, get rid of the shrubs for right now. Uh, Let's see, flooring, diagonal, wall stone. It's not what I want. I want, I want those. I know where I can get them. There we go. And so if you want to, if you want to create, let's say a thing around here, you could take the circular saw and take, um, we already have one of those, but we could take this and, and, uh, come over here and do this, do this. This creates a real nice effect. I will show it, but it dresses up that area and you could do that with almost anything. If you wanted to do that with wood. I kind of don't like that, but I do. But it will add to... I don't like my choice there. But it'll add to add to that. So that is a look at the conservatory. And I am going to do a video on the, uh, our, our weekends out of the uh, at the Forest Preserve. Because they're very cool. And like a picture slideshow type deal. But there you have it. That is that. I have a little test area set up over here. I'm going to change this mountain. Instead of snow, it's going to be uh, rock and grass. But over here, I was trying different things. The banana plant and the cocoa plant just will not grow. No matter what I put them on, no matter what I do. Um, here is different palm trees and such. That, I, that I've made in the past. This is actually one too high. And I was trying to grow that fern. It just won't grow. No matter what I do, it will not, it will not grow. And I know this one's a sapling. So, but you can see here, here's one of the palm trees. But you can see here how the leaves are and how thick and full it looks. And you can just mimic that. And then we have different uh, bushes. And these are cool because if I type in bush, there's bush branches number one, different variations of it, number two, three, four. And you, you put these together and they create realistic looking, realistic looking bushes. Here's, an, here's another one. So these are just based differently and it creates that and then if you take and put um oh where is it real quickly oh here it is 
there it is right there. If you could see the, the young tree, the young tree um, bush or stick, and you, cre you create like baby trees. And here's another one. Here's uh, young trees. So uh, those are from the, the plant, more plants mod. And here's another mini bush over here with the top. But here we go. Here's a young tree bottom, middle, and top. So you go. So that is uh, a look at the conservatory. And it's nestled in here real nicely in the uh, Sequoia Forest which is taking forever to grow. Usually when I don't look at it, it'll grow. Grow. Please? Please, please? You don't want to grow? Okay. And <laughs> go from there. So there's the, there's the desert room and our little forest room and forest path. Little eatery. All the, the glass. Nice. I was going to put some lights up there because it's just um, a little too dark at night. So I don't, I'm not sure. Just for right now, I'm going to put three. Just to put some... Uh, there we go. Just to give it... Just to give it, uh, give it some light at night. Shading down. All right. So thank you very much for watching. And um, yeah, go out the front here. That is a look at my conservatory. And it fits in this neighborhood area really nicely with the design, automotive design house and the condos and the forest area here because it's going to be like a miniature forest go from there and as you're walking down the sidewalk you get to look in and see all the gorgeous trees and plants nice atmosphere so thank you very much for watching and um yeah look at how well that looks after just the little things that we did here and go from there so until the next episode um goodbye